a little quick video here showing you how to assemble your suspension and I'm gonna basically consider this series assembly of the CUDA project phantom so basically as I said before I have all Q&A one suspension I got the K member I got the lower control arm I got the strut and I got the I mean the strut rods and I got the upper control arm now, I have read reviews on the upper control arm that they're saying it's not greasable, so that's why I might not get it for my charger over there. But I'm just trying it out on Project Phantom, the cool to see how it works. So, basically, how the suspension goes together is pretty simple. I had to still look back at pictures, I didn't remember like I know the whole thing, I know everything. No, I had to look back at pictures and internet pictures, other stuff, just to make sure I'm putting it back together correctly. So, basically. At first, you want to do is install your cane, remember? You got the four bolts right there. It goes one for the front, and then one for right here that's underneath here. You're going to install those. So once you have your cane member up, you're going to want to install the lower control arm, which I did. The lower control arm is installed. I also put the shock in. I put the upper shock in, and I bolted it up. I didn't tighten it all the way, but I just put it up top and as you can see right there so now I had the control arm and the shock in so now you want to install the lower ball joint which is this thing right here you want to install a lower ball joint to your lower control arm I don't say lower ball joint your ball joint lower ball joint you want to install to your control arm lower control arm so once you do that you can now bolt on your spindle and your spindle has these two bolts per spindle put these two bolts basically holds the spindle to the lower ball joint tighten those up and one thing I did lose one of these bolts I don't know where the heck it was so I had to I went to Ace Hardware and I got a grade 8 bolt it's the same thickness the only issue was the head's a little bit bigger but I don't think it would interfere so once you have that together now you have your spindle on. You want to put on your dust shield. And your dust shield comes with these three bolts. You bolt those in. This right here is called your caliper bracket. Those have two bolts. A lot of these I just left it screwed into the spindle. So you're going to want to screw these. These goes in from the back. So once you do that, you're going to be good. So now once you install your upper control arm, you can install the upper control arm up to the spindle so the spindle can now have somewhat be held up because if the upper control arm is not bolted to the spindle the spindle is going to be falling forward because that's what basically holds it together then you want to install the shock I did lose the shock bolt but I went to Ace Hardware again I got me another grade A bolt it's close it's a little bit shorter I think but it still fits but it works though you want to install your shock once you install your shot, install your lower con upper control arm into your spindle. As I said earlier, everything is held together. Now you want to get to your center link. You can put your center link in and put the idler arm because the idler arm connects to your power steering pump. Or I mean steering box, I say steering box. So once you have this, now you can put your inner and outer tie rod on. And once you have that, put your inner and tie rod on. You can put your outer tie rod onto the lower ball joint, as you can see there, because that's what basically makes everything go together, turn, and that's what controls your alignment. And that's basically it. Tighten up everything, and you're good to go. But I just want to show you a little quick video of that. I got everything good, everything together. I just got to tighten up and put the cotter pins in, but everything is good right now. I don't think I want to put my rims and tires on just yet. Not until I paint underneath the car with the core seal, but I'll make another video on that. But 
here it is. Suspension's all together. I just need to paint my caliper, then I'll put the caliper on. I'm gonna change the the rear and brake, I mean the race and um bearing for my new rotors so I could put those on. So then I could put the wheels on on the front suspension and be done. I could put my new tires on and be good now. And once I finish painting underneath the car with a carousel, coro seal, I'm probably going to hit it with the, um, what's that thing called? Dang, I can't remember. It was like a rhino guard or something. I'm going to paint it with that. So underneath is protected. It won't have to worry about it rusting and all that good stuff. So yeah, once I get all that done, we should be putting this car together, have the wheels and tires on. And yeah, now this is just the assembly video part one. More to come on the assembly series. Peace.